Disclaimer, the following video is not meant to glorify marijuana usage in any way. It is just a story on how I ended up stopping because hopefully I can get some people who are stuck in this bad habit to stop too. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the video. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Internet? I'm here to tell you a, another story. Um, and this is uh, just a disclaimer. I don't glorify the use of of any sort of substance and I don't encourage people to use them now I am aware that I am not naive in any way shape or form and people are going to try what people are going to try but eventually I encourage people to take a step back and cut any sort of substance usage but heading into this video this is a story on why I personally I personally know I'm not going to tell anyone else what to do or what not to do because I know that it's becoming very popular since it's been legalized, but why I quit smoking marijuana. Again, I am not here to tell anyone what to do. This is just my experience with marijuana. And although I am going to preach a little bit of sobriety, I am not going to do it from a religious standpoint. I don't think that using religion as a trampoline to get people to stop doing drugs is um, is right in my opinion despite me having a uh, religion but I don't make that my forefront I'm gonna speak um, by the flesh in the human sense and uh, nothing more but part of understanding why I quit was how I got into it now when I was growing up I was going to a Catholic school I was doing a lot of homework I was really trying hard to do my best in school um, I was the more well-behaved of two brothers, so that put a lot of pressure on me to uh, not do it because I would come home every day and I would see sometimes how disappointed uh, my parents were when I had a sibling who would get in trouble with that kind of stuff. And growing up, um, I would always hear in high school while I was staying sober how everyone else was trying it and they thought it was the greatest thing ever. And I kind of felt left out, but I didn't want to do that because I was really trying to be the um, good son of the bunch and really uh, carry the sobriety forward and not let it become a habit. Then I graduated um, high school and went to college, and this is where I took off on my smoking journey is I was doing it three times until I finally actually felt something because the first two times I obviously didn't do it right, but I was hanging out with a friend of people who smoked a lot. And in a dorm room, after we had our third or fourth session together, um, we're listening to English rap battles. And then I really felt like I could tell the seconds of the universe apart because they were all at a different, different frequency and vibration. I was that far gone. And it was the biggest dopamine hit that I could have ever felt. And it was the most amazing feeling I've ever had. Now, then we went out partying and then the rest of the night is history. But I just remember that one feeling of just euphoria coming from a little stick that uh, we were all kind of sharing at the moment now a lot of kids in college do this so I can't really you know this is just to tell my story but that feeling I kept wanting to feel again because I realized that there were a lot of things in my material life that I was missing and it was more of a filler and you know I would go to class get homework done come home and smoke go you know repeat the cycle over and over again but then Looking back throughout the years, that's where my attention span and my motivation began to deteriorate, and then my anxiety just went up. Because before I knew it, my body was becoming super dependent on this stuff in order to stay sane and stay safe. Um, and it really just wasn't good, because when I wasn't on it, I was irritable, I was horrible, I had no attention span, I had no motivation, and this is just, this is just my experience with it, because over time, it drug me in with a really welcoming glare and then before I knew it it had become a demon that latched onto my back that really just I needed a fix or else and I know a lot of people don't like to hear this but if you're smoking weed every day you do have an addiction and you do have a problem and you know you are not sober in fact, before I knew it, I realized that my habit that I had picked out when I had left the nest had followed me and, and really gave me a run for my money. I didn't feel like myself. I didn't feel like I was very good. I, In fact, honestly, by the time I realized I needed to quit, I had the lowest self-esteem, the lowest attention span, the highest anxiety that I've ever had. I just didn't want to take part in reality because... 
I was so used to escaping to a feeling that I couldn't feel anymore that I had felt eight years ago. And then fast forward, I couldn't get that anymore. And I just never felt the same again. And it was a really bad thing. I was hyper emotional, hypersensitive, um, angry a lot. I would get frustrated easy when I was sober. And it was not a recommended state of mind that I would be in. And I realized just my circle of people had changed. I Now they say like your circles do change when you're around. It's really true. And before you know it, you end up in toxic friend groups, dramatic friend groups, just friends that don't care about anything except their next fix. And then you start to, to wonder where else is this going to go? Because did I listen to my dearest mother and father when they said don't do it? No, because I felt like they were exaggerating. And then I realized that The more you go along with it and the older you get, the more life experience you understand. You understand what the adults were trying to warn you as kids um, was reality. And around 24, I had to start cutting back. And then I became more of just a weekend user. And then I really understood what a habit is because I had a habit of smoking every day, almost nearly all the time, to waiting every week for that one Saturday where I allowed myself to. I was that hooked, and I was still hooked. Um, Now, you could say once a week is, you know, less of a habit, but a habit is still a habit nonetheless. And I'm going to be honest, when I was uh, in that one-day-a-week habit, I think that was worse than my every day because I was lying to myself about what was going on. Then by the time I turned 27, I realized that my Sundays had no energy because um, I didn't want to be anywhere because of that afterburn that I felt after getting really blasted and then coming back down to reality in a very bad mood on Sunday, feeling a little bit of it Monday and then being back up on Tuesday and then waiting for that next Saturday to start the cycle in all over again. That was probably a more vicious cycle in my opinion. Around 27, I had said, I've I've had enough. Now, that's this year. And I've been going about a year strong, like being sober from marijuana. And I've been sober from alcohol for about four years now. I really haven't ever had a a regular drinking habit, luckily. That's never been my thing. Um, And I don't recommend anybody make a habit out of drinking. But I've never, a lot of dumb decisions I made on my life were from alcohol, and a lot of the lazy decisions I made were from marijuana. In fact, if I can make one uh, distinction for anybody here who feels like they're trapped in this cycle, and you feel in the back of your mind that you need to get off of that cycle, please get off of that cycle. Do yourself a favor. I encourage you to get off any substance because... Once you find yourself, you're allowed to live in reality. And I really try other things besides smoking to express myself now, like making a video about why I stopped. And I don't want to glorify marijuana usage because I know today in the mainstream um, entertainment industry, people make, make it glorified all the time you got your pineapple express movies you have your rappers who glorify smoking every day and everything but at the end of the day that's just comedic entertainment and sometimes you have to understand that a lot of these artists that make these marijuana rap songs don't really know their fans all by name and they're usually doing it because it sells records not because they genuinely think that it's going to help someone now i know people who can smoke and that's their business Um, And I'm not here to force anybody because I cannot. Everyone is asked to make their decisions at the end of the day. But when you take a step back and you realize the cycles that you get trapped in and wondering why, because I admit to myself now that the reason I was doing it was because I had this empty feeling in my life. And if I could go back, I had missed out on a lot of relationships, a lot of job opportunities, just a lot of friendships in general because of the trap that I had found myself in that I didn't want to admit to myself until years later. I wish I was more honest with myself when I said that and how I got into this cycle, the pressure I put on myself when I was young, the pressure I put on myself to keep going to fit in when I was still young. And then I'm not quite as young, but I still consider myself at a young age compared to most people. I have to stop completely because when I'm off it completely, 
yeah, sometimes you do get a little cranky every now and again because you don't have a fix. But sometimes you need that dopamine fast to get back on track and learn that not every thing comes like right away. Not every good thing is going to be instant gratifying. And I recommend people stop looking for instant gratification because you might just make it to a better spot. That's all I really have to say because I don't want to drag on this too long. But this is how I started and stopped and why I stopped. Um, I hope it explains it. It's a very complicated um, explanation to a simple question is why did I stop? But there's your complicated answer. Thank you guys very much for staying with me through this video. I will see you next time.